Uh, so this is the remains of a circuit board from a multimeter. You can see some pieces, and that's because I, I cut a chunk out of it, and uh, that was to extract the integrated circuit that was sitting chip on board of this uh, PCB. And uh, I then threw that whole assembly into acid to uh, remove the epoxy and get the integrated circuit out. Uh, whenever you do that, of course, and if you throw the circuit board as well, you end up with uh, what appears to be uh, fabric. And of course, that's exactly what it is. It's basically the uh, e-glass uh, that is used in the construction of a uh, fiberglass uh, circuit board. And it's uh, woven in a, in a basket weave pattern. And there's four chunks of it. That means there's basically four sheets of uh, fiberglass sitting uh, in the circuit board. And uh, it's an integral part of a board. Uh, basically, this circuit board here is uh, uh, sort of a copper laminate, uh, the fiberglass, um, and essentially epoxy, not too much unlike actually what you get here in this sort of uh, little uh, syringe. Um, the epoxy, of course, is squeezed around the fibers to create a nice uh, sheet, and then the uh, copper foil is laminated to both sides, and of course eventually it's etched in chemicals to create the traces, and the green material is solder resist is applied. So uh, let's take a little closer look at uh, these fibers. So here's a picture of one of the fiberglass cloths. It's a, what's known as a plane weave. Uh, everything has technology associated with it. Uh, the material is something called e-glass. Uh, there's a really good uh, paper on it uh, if you actually want to learn more about uh, glass yarns. Uh, this one's from the Isola group. I'll put the actual link on to the description of the video if you'd like to actually read the whole paper. Uh, but it's got a pretty great uh, introduction actually of the technology. Normally this is something, of course, you don't normally specify the uh, the construction of the uh, prepreg and uh, its fiber content. Uh, and that's because it's usually not too important, except when you get to extremely high frequencies. And uh, the pattern of this weave basically uh, affects the dielectric constant. The epoxy and the glass always are slightly different in terms of their dielectric. Uh, and that uh, means that as the trace passes over the top of the circuit board, it actually you can see this weave here. Um, and that, of course, can become uh, meaningfully important at extremely high frequencies. Uh, let me just toss another app note. Uh, this one's from Altera, and uh, they have a really great uh, explanation of that as well. So uh, here's a, a slightly more esoteric corner of a circuit boards and uh, some of the attributes you would design at the very high end.